was it's coming up a year now, July 15th, at Olden Park, which is Cheshire in England. Uh, I had an accident on um, a Friday practice of one of the race weekends and it uh, nearly took my life, really. About 130 miles an hour, fired into an arm barrier, feet first, so really just smashed from the feet upwards, right the impact to the shoulder. So I'm very lucky I got away without any spinal injuries. Get you step you up into it, and then okay. we'll get you all rigged up. Just put it up level that you're comfortable. Right, so we'll hit start and just calibrate it. John's main injuries fractured what was called his left acetabulum, fractured both ankles fractured his tibial plateau, which is in around his knee, he fractured cuboid on the right side, which is bones in the feet, he fractured both shoulders, uh, which have been pinned back. So all those have had required surgery. The biggest issue for John was with the weight-bearing stage. So when John was at the stage that he was allowed to start to put a small amount of weight through his limbs, then that's when he started using the Ultra-G. So over that three-month period, then he was able to progress up through weight-bearing. You get up, put all your body weight through it, it's a bit of a a daunting thing in the body and it's nearly a bit too much but you have to start somewhere. I didn't realise the fact of work you do feel like you're in space if you really want to you can take um, nearly all your body weight off so your, your feet are, are just uh, impacting the floor but with no weight on at all and then that inspires confidence so you can lower your body on as you need to. And you wouldn't encourage patients with intraarticular fractures to push it but because he can offload the weight in the machine, it automatically makes it much more comfortable for him to run. And he's quite happy to do that without any increase in pain. So let you go into a gentle jaw whenever you're comfortable. And then if you feel that you need a wee bit more weight off, drop it down. If you feel that you're happy enough, we'll leave it at 60% today. Actually, his recovery has been quite remarkable in this very short period of time. And certainly the other genes played a big part in that as well. Just was fortunate that the machine was here. It's a, a brilliant piece of kit there. And Louis loves it, I don't think he wants to let go of it. <laughs> right from the from day one it's been perfect for uh, learning to fire the muscles I suppose for a start and to your brain, muscle memory, get the basic walking thing going again and get a, a flow to that to make that sort of a recovery from July it was unbelievable.